Hi, this is Carol Zelkin, the Executive Director of the IMCCA. The IMCCA is a nonprofit organization supporting the collaborative conferencing industry for over 20 years. During the current pandemic, we are committed to providing support and guidance for the UCNC industry and the many thousands of people who now find themselves working remotely for the very first time. We believe it is essential to provide that support in any way that we can. Allow me to introduce IMCCA member York Tell and our Director of Emerging Technology, David Danto. Thanks very much, Carol. I appreciate it. Um, joining me today is uh, Ken Scatura from York Tell. Ken, why don't you uh, say hello and tell everybody what you do? Sure. Thanks, David. Thanks, Carol, for having me on today. Appreciate it. I'm Ken Scaturo, the president and COO of Yorktel. I'm self-quarantined today in Annapolis, Maryland, with my wife and two boys. They're they're home from college. Uh, they're having some of the same challenges, Dave, that I think our enterprise customers are having today. In that, you know, they're trying the first time to take classes online, and they don't have headsets. The headsets aren't working. They're scrambling to get headsets working. It's the, the crisis this morning that we're having that I feel the pain of a lot of our organizations are having out there, our customer organizations. Yeah, I hear you, Ken. In addition to everything I do in the world, I'm also IT support for my house. So uh, <laughs> very, very, very similar uh, situation. So is Yorktel doing anything special for the general public during this pandemic? Uh, I, I don't know if you call it special, but I think our industry has stepped up across the board on it. And we have a cloud-based service that we're providing free utilization of folks who need to get online and contact uh, you know, some of their coworkers, family, friends, et cetera, on there. So we're providing a free service for a period of time on that with no obligation uh, on the other side of this virus to continue with that service. Uh, if people are interested in what that looks like, uh, feel free to email us at info at yorktel.com. That's info at yorktel.com, and we'd be more than happy to to provide some information to them, as well as provide some service on how to get online itself. That's great, Ken. Thanks very much, and thanks to your organization. Is there any last question, general advice that you would give people that find themselves working remotely for the first time? Obviously, this isn't new to us, uh, but it is new to thousands of people. So, you know, what's your top of mind advice to tell people about how to get through the situation from a collaborative standpoint? Sure, Dave, and, and there's a lot of, of published topics on this. You've, you've got some great uh, blogs out there, too, on this exact topic. But I would, I would ask people to, to stick with the schedule. Get on your same schedule that you would like you are at work. Get yourself prepared like you're going to work. I think it's important to ensure that you are using a headset if you can on that. It makes it more clear. Uh, but this is hard, right? We have to be we have to be forgiving of the backgrounds of people today. We have to be forgiving of people getting uh, uh, intruded on by their kids or their dogs, et cetera. I think there's a lot more patience here that, that we have to show. And I think by doing that, it's gonna change the way we communicate in, in the future. It's gonna be a new way of work moving forward. Absolutely, there's a lot of this stuff we're not gonna go back on. Ken, how can somebody reach you personally if they wanna reach out to you? Sure, get me at kscatoro at yorktel.com. K-S-C-A-T-U-R-R-O at yorktel.com. Thanks very much, Ken. Stay safe and be well. Thanks, Dave. You and, and to everybody out there, be safe and be well. Thank you. Mm -hmm.